hi friends how are you in this video i am going to show you a very useful um, trick and very uh, common problem of um, of windows script host error that is also called windows rendered vbs error okay whenever your registry editor do something or changes something if it will not find its path that your that part in which your windows os is installed then at that time you will get this error okay so just see my video it is very easy for that you have to press control alt delete okay or you have to open task manager you can get the task manager by pressing control alt delete or simply just right click here on the task menu, on the task bar okay so just click on task manager and after that click on file run new task here you have to write reg etit reg etit we have to go on registry editor then check this box okay then click on ok after that you will get this window so here you have to go on h key local machine just click on this arrow after that click on software okay just click on software arrow left side of that software arrow then again here we have to uh, click on Microsoft arrow then after that we have to find windows NT that is it's here then click here windows NT click on current version then here you have to find windows login win winlogon then click here you have to click on win logon folder okay just click here then come here right side here you have to see this user init you have to see this data okay here we have to modify something we have to right click and go on modify whatever value whatever data or whatever thing you, you will get on value data box just rename that or erase that and you have to write these things c windows system 32 user init dot exe comma that in that means where you have installed your windows os okay just like i have installed my windows 10 on c drive so i have written here c if you have installed your windows os on d drive then simply uh, erase that c and write d if you have um, installed on e then just write e but i have installed on c so i'll write c okay uh, and other data will be same nothing will be change okay just write these things you have to remember where you have installed your windows os then after that click on ok okay after doing that just close everything and restart your computer then see whether you have your problem fixed or not okay so i hope this will work for you people so if you got this video useful then please subscribe my channel and like my videos and hope you enjoy Thank you.